you, you look great. Yeah, specifically you with the shampoo hoosh. Am I giving you enough attention? Please do not cause climate change. Writing with Grace, it's writing with Grace. Cause I really don't wanna write this whole thing by myself. It's writing with Grace. Writing with me, me, my name is Grace. Over 25% of you in your submissions this week decided that loudmouth caused freak week because they weren't getting enough attention. Which hits a little close to home. I'll be honest, please like and subscribe. Don't ever leave. And I think that you are great. I don't know what you're capable of. Which brings us to this week's stats. Everyone loves stats. About 20% of your submissions this week had Harry having a bursting through the door moment. This was a really wonderful choice for me. Thank you for doing that. This week we got lots of Lesters. About 10% of you wanted Crush to have a brother named Lester. I don't hate it. I'm just weirded out that a lot of you had that very specific similar idea. About 30% of you mentioned some sort of bobby pin lock picking, which means that you watch movies because that does not work in the real world, which brings me to my next segment. Bobby pin life hacks. Here are some things that bobby pins can actually work for. Don't know how to get that perfect sexy Instagram pose? Don't worry, use a bobby pin. Ever wish that you could make music but you don't have any instruments? Ever want to shake someone's hand but hate germs? Thank you for your business. Ever struggle to eat popcorn with your bare hands? <laughs> Try a bobby pin. Mmm. Worth it. And that concludes our bobby pin life hacks. Let me know any life hacks you have with bobby pins only. I just got so many bobby pins and I gotta do something with them guys, so help me out. And now on to our superlatives. Best talking this week goes to Emma Porter. She decided that on day six, everyone says the exact opposite of what they mean and she allows Crush to have this amazing monologue in which he professes his opposite feelings for Lace. Lace, I seriously hate you. I have the strongest disdain for you that I've ever felt for another human being and it doesn't scare me at all. I think you're completely disgusting in so many ways, not just your looks, but your personality and your mind as well. I hate you too, Emma Porter. Just kidding. Best surprise, surprise, surprise this week goes to Raining apples. Let me give you a hint at what they decided to include in their chapter. <laughs> they decided to include small farts of fear on their day six of Freak Week that when people get afraid, they fart, but just a little bit. <laughs> Which is maybe my favorite surprise surprise of this whole series so far because like that's some straight up nonfiction right there. <laughs> Whoo! And our prompt prize, prize this week goes to Matthew Francis. Matthew Francis decided that on day six of Freak Week, there is a tomato tornado. Everyone goes around hurling insults at each other like tomatoes at a vaudeville show. Or that one day in Spain where they all have the big tomato fight. Good job, Spain. Spain just loves Freak Week. Which now brings us to our choice chapter for this week. Our choice chapter this week is from Nazumi Crab. Nazumi Craft wrote a chapter entitled Syrupy Slopes. On day six of Freak Week, the environment turns into candy, but the candy is reflective on your emotions that you are experiencing. I love in this chapter that Lace is talking about what she loves about Crush, and she mentions that she just loves his perfume, which I thought was a really fun choice to decide that Crush wears perfume. Good for him. Also, the monologue comes from Crush, but in a series of quick confessions as they are rushing through the hallway to get to the auditorium to confront Loudmouth, who they learn is Lester, Crush's older brother that none of us knew about, but is somehow the mastermind behind Freak Week. Here's how it goes down. Crush is actually responsible for helping build the satellites, and every time that Loudmouth messes with the satellites, something different happens on Freak Week. And it's just coincidental that Freak Week lasts for a week every year because that's about how long it takes for Crush to get into the backlog system of the satellites and reprogram them to stop Freak Week. Does that make any sense? Read the chapter. And the reason that Lace is the key is because all of the answers to the passcodes that are protecting the satellites have to do with things about Lace. Her favorite band lyrics, her favorite chocolate, and that's why Lace is so important. But the biggest thing that happens is that we find out that Loudmouth has banana, but Banana wants to be there. Banana's actually supporting Loudmouth because Banana loves Freak Week. And that's where we are left off. Everyone is now in the auditorium. It's Loudmouth and Banana versus 
everyone else. Jim is also seeing Loudmouth for the first time in person and finding out who they actually are after sort of pseudo dating them on a science forum. Oh, also by the way, Mr. Kevin is there with a water gun full of honey. <laughs> if anyone was wondering, like myself, where the hell Mr. Kevin had been this whole time, he's there. Here's what you need to do for chapter seven. One, this is the biggest day of Freak Week. This is our last day, make it good. Two, this is the confrontation. This is the quintessential fight scene and it has to happen in an environmentally safe way, i.e. a rap battle. That's right, this girl said rap battle. <laughs> I use those words. Guys, this is your last chance to submit a chapter to Freak Week. I will be writing chapter eight, which is the final, final frontier of all of this, but chapter seven, in my opinion, is maybe the most important chapter. It's the biggest climax of the story. And also like, set it up so I can write a decent chapter eight, guys. <laughs> and remember, your deadline is this Sunday, May 15th, to submit, create a new story on your Wattpad page and use the hashtag writingwithgrace so we can find your submission. Also, if you wanna read Freak Week as it is up until now, go to wattpad.com slash writingwith to check it all out and Good luck. Oh yeah, here's a statistic that I forgot to mention earlier. Last week, Freak Week was number one in general fiction on Wattpad. That's really difficult to do, so congratulations to you guys, because you are doing this. Best of luck to all of you. I'll see you on the internet. I'm here all the time. I don't know.